hi everyone i'm the plus size tarot chick and welcome to my channel if you are just randomly browsing by please consider subscribing if you want to see more of these readings i am going to start doing these monthly this is for taurus and this is for the sun moon rising of venus and remember this is a general reading it's just whatever comes up energies are vice versa and interchangeable i do <laughs> i get ch ugh, tongue twisted with that sometimes so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look what is going on with taurus and love so i'm going to use the romance angels to get an overall theme for the reading and then i'm going to go into the radiant weight tarot deck if I need some clarifiers, I'm going to go into the Modern Witch Tarot. So let's go ahead and get started. What is going on for Taurus for June 2020 in love? What is going on with Taurus for June 2020 in love? What is going on with Taurus June 2020 in love? What is going on with Taurus June 2020 in love? So what is going on with Taurus? And remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these readings and the support it means the world to me and this channel so there's new love coming your way a new person has stirred your romantic feelings you're feeling inspired you're feeling excited there's maybe a new love coming your way this could be your soulmate this is the person that the person you have your eye on is someone that is going to actually be your soulmate this person is worth waiting for so the person that is come is in your life right now or will be in your life that catches your eye um divine timing is at work in your love life so everything happens in the universe aligns this for a reason so let's go ahead and see what else it's important to retreat it's important to disconnect and see what your feelings are toward this person so maybe a romantic getaway something but i feel like this is you meditating on your feelings for this person is what I'm getting here. Anything else we need to know about Taurus? Sun, moon, rising for June 2020 in love. Anything else we need to know? Anything else we need to know about Taurus? June 2020 in love. Anything else we need to know? Anything else we need to know? Taurus, June 2020, and love. Nothing wants to pop out. This is your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So it feels like that you've been, this is on the bottom, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So it's important to release and let go of past relationships or the past of people hurting you is what I'm getting here. It feels like it's important to take a leap of faith on this person because this person is going to be your soulmate and you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person. It might... It might be a little flirtation going on here but it's important to take things slow is what i'm getting here so let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot and see what comes up for taurus sun moon rising venus what is going on with taurus in love for june 2020 how what is this new love for taurus June 2020 in love. What is going on with Taurus? June 2020 in love. So it feels like 
there is an air sign person coming into your life and masculine energy so when i say masculine energy or feminine energy it's the energies is not a specific gender it's important to ground yourself it's important there is new hope with this person it feels like you've been disappointed so many times and you might be closed off when it comes to love and this person that you have an eye on is really makes you balanced because we have archangel michael here pouring chalices of water into each cup and finding balance and water has to do with grounding so it's really important to this person will make you balanced and this person it's worth exploring like when i was saying here it feels like that you've been in this mindset of you're not going to find anyone and you're being stubborn you're being stubborn here you're not seeing what the cup is being offered to you but you're focusing on the three that are in front you're not seeing the whole picture is what i'm getting here anything else we need to know about taurus for sun moon rising venus love is being offered to you but it's up to you if you want to take it you have the opportunity to grasp and take this opportunity and this new love but with anything it's time and it's really important to take time with this person um feelings are worth exploring there is going to be some flirtation going out on some dates but it feels like this person is very interested but it feels like that you're pushing this person away yes it happens the cycle of life happens and there's up and downs of life but it's up to you with what is being offered here. You can either choose to not have this, um, have this relationship, or just be stubborn and not give in. But I feel like this person is offering a lot of love and is worth waiting for. It's important to put the past to rest. It's important to let go. Um, you've been going, th you've been through a lot of um, struggles when it comes to love. You've been disappointed one after another, and you just feel like you want to give up. But this person comes in and is very interested in you, but you're choosing not to see the whole picture the feelings you're not seeing what his feelings are or her feelings it's really important to listen to what the universe and what is being offered to you with this eight of pentacles here anything else we need to know about taurus and love somebody's going to be very happy it's a time of celebration this person is the right one for you Let's see what else came out here. Two of Cups. You're going to be partnering. You. It's important to explore this because there's a lot of disappointment. You're focusing on the three that are tilted over, but look at the two cups that are behind and you see a moat here. There is hope. Anything else? You're moving on from choppy waters, life situations that happen, and you're moving on to calmer waters. Anything else we need to know? What is the final, what is the outcome of Taurus? What is the final outcome with Taurus, with the situation? We have the world. So, 
This person thinks the world of you. You see what the universe is being offered. Off the universe is offering you. You can either choose to be stubborn or you can take a leap of faith, but you're having inner struggles here. You keep fighting off these feelings. I just feel like there's a very strong, stubborn energy. A lot of heartache and pain. This came out reversed, actually. This is saying heartache and pain is going to be over if you take this chance. Eight of Cups on the bottom. You're, choo you're choosing to walk away what no longer serves you. Meaning that you can walk away from these feelings of being stubborn and all the disappointments that have happened and take this chance. Also behind it was the fool. So you're taking the leap of faith. You're nurturing something new. So you see the flower that the fool is holding here. And he is on the edge of a cliff. This is, this is saying take this chance. Because you, you don't know that it's going to... Um, you, you don't know if this is going to happen again. So it's your choice. It's up to you. Let me see if we get anything else from the modern witch tarot. Yeah, again, in temperance here. It's important to ground yourself. We got temperance and the radiant weight tarot deck and the other tarot deck. You need to, there's, there's a new fresh start for you. But it's up to you to decide if you want to do this. Let me draw from the daily guidance from your angel's tarot deck. I mean, oracle deck. <laughs> and see what comes out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards here. And see what comes up. What is the final message for Taurus? For what do the angels have to say for Taurus? For love, June 2020. What's going on with Taurus and love? Um, what do the angels want to say? Anything else the angels want to say? Anything else the angels want to say? Any messages from the angels for Taurus, June 2020 and love? Any messages release and surrender we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands open your hands arms and heart to our love and assistance so it's really important to trust the universe let go of the past let go of past pain and heartache that has happened and take a leap of faith on this person because you don't know if it's going to happen again is what I'm getting. So Taurus, good luck with everything. And remember to like and subscribe and comment below if this resonated with you. Um, I love each and every one of you. Have a great day, evening or afternoon. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.